hey everybody i am coming making this video message and i want to talk to you all about why god possibly removed some people from your life earlier today a lot of you saw a post that i put in my community tab and it just said god removed people from your life because he heard conversations that you didn't and i want you all to accept that I want you to rest in that and I want you to really, really understand that this is going to happen if it has not already happened at some point in your life because God is omnipresent, God is omniscient, and God is omnipotent. And let me break that down. When I say that God is omnipresent, that means that God is everywhere. God is literally everywhere at one time. God is not in one area or one location on Monday, but then Tuesday, he's in a, another location. Then Wednesday turns around and he's in one country. Then Thursday comes, he's back in the country somewhere else. No, you need to understand God is literally everywhere at one time. That is amazing. That is amazing. And a lot of you all, you're not going to spiritually or mentally grasp that. A lot of you all, you're probably not going to even believe it. You're going to say, that's crazy. That's impossible. Let me tell you something. That's why God is God. That's, that's why he's God. Because he's that amazing, that mysterious, that awesome, that amazing, that magnificent. I need you to understand that. Number two, um, God is omnipotent meaning he has all power that is also amazing god has all the power where us as human we have some power in certain situations you may even feel like you have power over a certain person but even in that that is still limited the power and the intelligence that we think we have it is still limited okay and we cannot do certain things it doesn't matter how educated you are it does not matter how intellectual or how knowledgeable you are or how intelligent you are you are limited in being able to do certain things so god is omnipresent he's um omnipotent and then he's omniscient omniscient means he knows everything that's also amazing i need you guys to grasp this catch this he is omniscient. He knows everything. He doesn't know some things. He's not partial in knowing certain people. He's not partial when it comes to knowing certain secrets. He is not partial in knowing the thoughts of other people and their behavior. No, 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 no. God is omniscient. He knows literally everything. And I also put that in that post. So you all need to understand, because I'm just trying to teach you all another level of God that you may not have heard of and you may not understand. But God is omnipresent, he's omnipotent, and he's omniscient. And so you have to understand that in life, when you are uneasy about certain people and you are unsure of them, because there are going to be people who come around you, there are going to be people you come in contact with, and there will be people that you know. They may be in your circle or they may be connected to you, whether it's directly or indirectly. And when you come out of their presence, you are unsure about them. You are uneasy about them. You get a feeling about them and you sense some things, but you can't quite put your finger on it. And then on the other hand, there are some of you, people have been snatched out of your life. And when I say that, I don't mean that they're deceased. I mean like something kicked off and very quickly, um, your relationship or your connection with someone or a bond that you may have been trying to build, it got um, divided there was a sword put in it and a lot of you all may be walking around you're highly offended you are angry with god you are angry with the person and you are trying to look at yourself and figure out what did i do wrong i did everything right i was the supportive friend i was the supportive boyfriend i was the supportive wife I was the supportive husband. I was the supportive father. I was the supportive mother. I was the supportive pastor in the church or the supportive um, uh, empathetic first lady. Whatever fits you, 
and whatever your title was with these different types of people or these different uh, calibers of people that you have been talking to, they got removed out of your life. It blindsided you. You were confused about it. You may not have understood it. It didn't feel good. You didn't like it. You may be kind of depressed now. You may be kind of sad. You may, like I said, be really upset with God because it seems like every time you get close to someone, every time you start falling for someone, or every time you make it your business to spread love and show people love and you want the best for them, they're removed from your life. I'm here to tell you that a lot of times, because God is God, and this is why I will always tell you all to let God be God. You don't jump ahead of God, okay, to do your own thing. When you don't have the full blueprint and when you don't understand everything that is playing out and that is occurring, you have to then rest in God. You have to give everything over to God. You have to rest in God. Because one thing about God, if he does not outright speak to you and tell you what's going on, or he does not tell you who someone is, or prophetically you don't see things, you don't hear things, and certain visions are not coming to you, or certain dreams are not coming to you about people, places, and things, you've got to understand and you've got to know that God is almighty, all-knowing, and all powerful and God is not always going to give you a heads up in every move that he's going to make this is why I also want you all to know don't ever get familiar with God don't ever get to the place you feel like you know the next move of God or you know what God is about to do now God will at some points he will tell you when there is a new season God will speak to certain ones of us uh, and he will tell you, well, I'm about to do this. Tell the people this. Tell the people that. Tell my people don't do this. Tell my people don't do that. That's for everybody in the kingdom, okay? Whether it's a pastor, whether it's a prophetess, whether it's a prophet. It could be a regular, everyday person. You know, I don't want you all to get caught up in titles, okay? Because God could tell who he wants to tell information to. God can reveal secrets that he wants to whoever he wants. And none of us have anything to do with that None of us are higher or lower than the other because God does this. But what I'm saying is that you can never get 100% familiar with God because where God is going in one direction with something, you will be amazed because he'll blow you out the box and then he'll move in a totally different way. God is sovereign. God can do what he wants when he gets ready. God can break the rules. This is why God is God. And this is why he is worthy to be praised. I say it all the time. God is very interesting. I find him to be very intriguing. And so you should desire to dig deeper and deeper and search to find out different dimensions and different levels in God. But I want you all to know this. Don't be stressed out. Don't be frustrated when someone or different people are removed from you. Behind your back, God knows who is talking about you. God knows who is sending out text messages about you. He sees emails, whether it's through church clergy, whether it's through work bosses, team leads, supervisors. He sees family members that are text messaging other family members to talk about you, to laugh about you, to expose you or to show you in your failed moments or your very weak, vulnerable moments. God knows friends that are talking about you. God knows the evil that lurks in different places and within different people. God knows people negative, nasty, disgusting, wicked, evil, evil thoughts and feelings towards you. I want you all to sit with that and take all the time you need. Take all the time you need with that. Because a lot of you all over the course of your life, there have been numerous things that have kicked off with you and people. And a lot of you all, you feel like there is a curse on you. You feel like there is witchcraft being done on you. You feel like somebody is setting you up and playing a game with you because you're looking around and you're like, God, every single time I get close to somebody, every single time I fall in love, every single time I want to bond with somebody, every time I'm transparent, every time. I am vulnerable, Lord. Something happens. Um, excuse me. 
where that person or those people are removed from me. We bump heads with each other. We argue with each other. We fall out with each other. They ghost me. They ignore my text messages. They always threaten to divorce me. They threaten to break up with me. They threaten to cut me off. But when I tell you that you've got to understand and you've got to know that God is the only constant and God is the only one who is always above anybody, above anything, no matter what. He's always going to have your best interest at heart. It doesn't matter your failures. It does not matter when you've disobeyed. It does not matter when you've fallen short. This is not justification or freedom for you to disobey and fall short and do what you want. But what I'm saying is that the enemy will trick you and make you believe and think that because you failed, because you didn't obey God as quickly as you were supposed to, or because you messed up, that God is not going to still protect you, still have your back, and still remove people who mean you know well in your life. I am here to tell you, God is omnipresent. God is omniscient, and God is omnipotent. All-powerful, all-knowing, and everywhere at one time. God is in everybody's house. God is in everybody's apartment. God is in everybody's job. God is in every church. God is in everybody's car. God is in every married couple's bedroom when they having pillow talk after they make love and they making you the topic of conversation for whatever reason. God is in your kid's school. God knows what your children are saying. God knows the connections your kids have with other people. And they trying to be slick and they trying to be sneaky. God knows who's speaking against you. God knows who's plotting and planning and scheming to try to set you up and bring drama to you. God knows who wants to come and cause you some type of harm. God knows people that in their heart or in their thoughts, they want you deleted. God knows everything. And he sees all and he's all powerful. He can shut any one of us down at any point. So you need to be glad about this. You don't have to go monitor. You don't have to manipulate. You don't have to threaten. You don't have to search. You don't have to pay anybody money. You don't have to go to a tarot card reader. You don't have to go to a psychic you don't have to call on dead ancestors for answers and clarity. You don't have to go to a witch. You don't have to become a witch to try to get the revelation and answers about people, what they're saying and what they're doing. You don't have to do anything in the spirit realm illegally. You don't have to do anything in the physical underhanded or demonic in order to get revelation even though you may not know who said what because you can't trace down every rumor okay you can't trace it you can't chase it you might not know exactly what was said you may not understand why certain people do and say or feel the things that they do and say and feel about you all you need to know is that when things start occurring and transpiring it's because God knows what you don't. God sees and hears what you don't. God is that powerful to where you don't have to do anything. God is going to handle it for you. Your only job is to trust God. Thank God. And give all your anxieties, issues, and concerns to God. Do you all understand? Your deliverance, if you just grasp the three areas and the truth of who God is. God is many things. But again, omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent. When you grasp that, your life, oh wow, man, you're at a different level spiritually. There are a lot of people who will say to me, Kiki, you are emotionless. You, you come off like you don't really have emotions. 
with a lot of people in certain situations. Horrible things have been done, you know, to me. Not a pity party. I can only tell you all the truth. Certain things have been said. Okay, we talk a lot about people lying and slandering. People have cut me off. People have stopped talking to me. I've been ignored by people who say that they love me and people who say that they're my friend and people who say that um, they want to stay connected to me. And I never understood why. There literally was nothing that I did to them. Uh, there was no visible thing that they had done to me. But I understand. That I don't need to know everything. If God did not reveal to me everything, he's not revealing everything to me for a reason. This is why I say you cannot get familiar with God. Just understand though, if at one point you were feeling uneasy every time a person was coming around and they're no longer coming around and that uneasiness is gone, then maybe it is what it is. If at one time you were unsure about a friend, a certain family member, your own child, okay? Because kids will cut up and side with other people too. I've talked to you guys about that. If it was a potential um, situation where you were going to start dating someone and they came into your life, but things kept, you know, falling apart. There was a lot of resistance there. You really don't know what was being said you don't know that person's heart towards you god has your back if you are his child and if you are praying and you trust in him and you believe god then you need to rest in that don't fight against it let it flow the bible says better is the ending of a thing than the beginning I also have a video message coming out about that. But you guys got to understand, when someone is removed from your life, there is a lot of times a new beginning. And God is doing something different in you. And sometimes, like I said, God is not going to give you the blueprint and let you know exactly what it is that he is doing. <laughs> that is the video message. Well, guys, on this cold day, you guys see I had to break out my big winter coat because it was snowing all day and it's freezing. But anyway, it's time for me to go, guys, because I have some other things to do. The Lord willing, because it's always his will, not mine. The Lord willing. I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I am not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.